let us now prepare organic pesticides at home so for doing an homemade organic pesticide so i have taken one onions four garlics and one green chilies so what you have to do is you have to just grind it or crush it uh, into a paste and mix it in water so uh, you can grind or crush that is your choice now now i'm going to grind it in my mixer so this is a ground paste of for onions chilies and garlic and it smells yummy but we are going to do a pesticide with this so what i'm going to do is i have just taken a gallon of water i'm just going to add this mixture into this uh, water and keep it for 24 hours so now mix this mixture well in water so mix it nicely at least you mix for about 25 to 50 times this mixing will increase the air circulation of the mixer and uh, will promote uh, the fermentation process now you have to keep it for 24 hours or ferment it for 24 hours so you can keep it for 24 hours to 3 days so our uh, homemade uh, pesticides is uh, ready i have uh, kept it for about 2 days you can keep for about 24 hours to 3 days but don't keep more than that just so now stir this mixture well and strain this in a separate container so i'm just going to strain this in a separate container in separate just the water so you can add these uh, waste in our compost bin and uh, if you see garlic onions and capsicum have both antifungal and uh, antibiotic properties so this is this will be an effective uh, pesticide and antifungal for our plants so this is our uh, homemade organic liquid uh, pesticide and it is also an effective antifungal so now i'll show you how to use this for our plants so now take a sprayer and add just 100 ml of our pesticide uh, don't add too much i'm going to strain it again because uh, if there is any dirt in the sprayer it will so the sprayer will not work so i'm just going to strain it again so i'm just taking 100 ml of our pesticide so don't take more than that so if you take uh, more than that then our uh, plants will die now fill uh, the sprayer with water so just this is just water just close the lid and shake it nicely so that the water gets mixed with our pesticide so now our uh, pesticide is ready you can spray it to your plants so spray this uh, pesticide uh, preparation weekly once for your plants and also you can store this uh, remaining um, pesticides and the shelf life of this uh, pesticide will be about 1 to 2 months don't use it more than 2 uh, months so now let us uh, spray our pesticide to our plants so uh, if you see uh, this plant is uh, affected with uh, fungus and aphids and uh, if you see this uh, leaf this is affected with fungus and uh, i'll just show you where aphids is aphids is a pest which uh, commonly affects rose plants over here and uh, it is commonly uh, found in uh, developing uh, healthy root buds so if you see a uh, small pest over here so if you see any uh, aphids like this just try to remove it with your hand but uh, but still the aphids will uh, affect your uh, newly forming buds and uh, shoots 
so now let us uh, spray our uh, homemade uh, pesticide and antifungal to this plant and uh, so if you spray only once in a while this fungus and aphids are not going to go so always uh, try to spray the pesticide uh, at least uh, weekly once or 10 days once uh, regularly so sometimes uh, you will feel that aphids and the, the fungal would have gone but uh, actually it would not have gone so just uh, try to spray that pesticide uh, regularly at regular intervals now let us uh, spray first we will remove the aphids whatever we have with our hands after that we can spray our pesticide preparation so almost most of the leaves have been affected with fungus so if I remove all these leaves then uh, the plant may die so I'm just going to spray the antifungal and pesticide what we have prepared now So try to spray this mixture for about uh, weekly once. If if you feel that this mixture is not effective or your plants are not responding to this treatment, try to change the antifungal. So mostly uh, this would be a, an effective treatment for your uh, diseased plants. So I am going to spray this mixture for my tomato plants also as a preventive measure. Anyway this is not affected by disease but still I just want to spray this. So you can spray this as a preventive measure also. You can spray uh, this for about uh, 10 days once if the plant is not affected by any disease. So if it is affected by disease spray it for about um, weekly once. Uh, if you see this is a green leaf. Uh, we use normally in Indian kitchen. Uh, in Tamil, we call it as Manatakali Kirai or Suketi Kirai. So, this uh, plant is affected by many pests and we cannot use, uh, use this leaf for our cooking. So, I am just uh, spraying a pesticide. So, so that the new leaves coming from it uh, will not be affected uh, and we can use it for our cooking. So, this... Uh, green leaf uh, we call it as uh, manatakali kirai or uh, chukati kirai is a very good uh, medicinal plant for uh, peptic ulcers so for patients who have peptic ulcers we normally recommend to take this uh, plant and it is uh, it is rich in uh, vitamin b so as a dentist uh, we recommend uh, this plant for uh, many mouth ulcers because it is rich in vitamin b complex